Granny, have you ever seen the trailer for uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark? No. Well, it's scary as hell. I used to... What was that noise? You hear all kinds of shit out here of the night. Get that fucking light out of my eyes. Are you excited for Neighborhood Watch tomorrow? You ain't coming out here. Why? Because your damn voice. What's wrong with my voice? What's wrong with my voice? Anybody wants to come around, they can hear your fucking big mouth. Alright, sit down. I ain't gonna sit down, move your fucking computer and shit off my bed. I'm gonna lay down in bed. It's bedtime stories. Get it off my bed. Oh, hey, you want me to read it to you while you're in bed? You damn right. <laughs> Why? You said it's bedtime stories, didn't you? Yeah. Well, alright. Are you really getting in bed, Grand? Yes, Jake, I'm getting in bed. It's one o'clock in the fucking morning. I get your shit off of here. I told you get that damn computer. I'm gonna have you react to the trailer uh, before uh, I read the stories. Well, I, it, I'll tell you what, it better not be fucking scary. What do you mean? What I say it. Is that gonna be scary? All right, it better not be. Okay, Granny, you ready? Yeah. Hit play. Or do I hit play? What do you mean? Where in the fuck do I hit play at on this? The space bar. This? Space bar. What in the fuck's a space bar? <laughs> you don't know what the space bar is? If I did, I wouldn't fucking ask you. Fine. It's this. I didn't see that one. Can't see no fucking way. Can you hear it, Gran? No, nope, but I'm watching it. I don't want to hear it. No, I'm turning it up for you. Don't get scared. Motherfucker. There, I, I don't want to hear it. There. I turned it up. You ready? But you know I don't like scary shit. <laughs> you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Here. You ready, Freddy? Fuck out. Here we go. can't hear that, Granny? No! Are you deaf? Yeah, go get your fucking headphones. I gotta go all the way downstairs for that. You want me to hear this shit? Are you last time we were at Walmart, you said you were gonna buy those hearing aids. Why didn't you? Hearing aids at Walmart. Yeah, right. Go on! Stupid eyes. Slam that door, you motherfucker. Wake your daddy up to hear get... Uh, beat both of our damn dices. Bullshit. Now what you got on my fucking TV? What the hell? Son of a bitch. I don't know what the damn ice got on. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know what this shit is he's got on here for me to fucking watch. Scary stories. Bullshit. He knows I don't like that damn shit. But he'll put it on our any freaking way. Oh, I hear him coming now. Here comes Miles. Here comes Daffy! You scared the fuck out of me. It's the one I had thrown your teeth. Uh, Daphne! Damn computer. Daphne! Alright, Granny, you want to give Daphne a treat? She better not bite my fucking hand. <laughs> She won't. Here. Give her that. I don't even know where it went. Here, Dad. She here. got it. Here. Dad. Come here. She's eating it. Aww. Well, I'll tell you what. She better not shit in my bed. Get off my bed now. Dad, if I give you a treat, get off. Get the fuck off. Get her off my bed, Jake. Good girl. Get her off. God damn you, I'll find something and I'll knock you in the fucking head with it. Granny, just give her one last treat. And then we'll watch the trailer. Here. 
Give that to her. Ow! Oh, fuck, <laughs> motherfucker! Get no, her she, off my bed! She did Get not! Get her off my fucking bed! She didn't bite you! Come she, on, Dad. Let's go. She nipped it. You lied! You motherfucker! Good girl. Good girl. You liar! Daphne's a good girl. She'd never bite. Oh, boy. She'd she never hurt a fly. Oh, hell, Dash wouldn't either. Neither's a damn psycho dog. Dash was a good dog. See? He's... He's... Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> he was real good when he took a nip out of my fucking arm. <laughs> You remember that? Still got the fucking scars on it here someplace. Let's get this over with, or I'm going to shut the computer and I'm going to fucking ban it. Alright, fine. Oh, your headphones. Where's my headphones? <laughs> I forgot. Damn it! You can, I can't remember shit! Here! It ain't my fucking fault. Now, can you plug them in? Are you sure you got that loud enough, motherfucker? <laughs> ah, damn! I can't hear no way, but that's gonna bust my fucking eardrums. <laughs> Listen at it. You hear it all the way over there, don't you? I ain't that fucking damn. Yeah, tell me a story. Short. Told you. You son of you asshole! You got this so fucking loud I can't hear shit! Come and turn this down! Boy, you shouldn't have turned it down so fucking much! Oh, hell no! Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck no! Oh, hell no! Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> you know what? You know what? You take this motherfucker <laughs> and you stick it up your ass. Does that look good? Time stories, my ass. That look. Would Get you, it. Are you gonna go to the movies and see that? Hell no! I ain't going to the fucking movies. I won't walk around the damn block to see that fucking thing. Why? I won't walk in the fucking backyard. Come on, it looks good. Get this computer now. What computer? I don't see anything. It's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you take it to fucking country, Okay, okay. You motherfucker. Alright. Now, do you want to read the... <coughs> do you want to read the thing? Harold, the red spot, the big toe, hi, what the fuck does that say? Which one do you want to read first? It don't matter. Which one? Just read one. Fine. We'll read the red spot first. The red spot on my shell. Okay. The red spot is a short story about a young girl who wakes up with a, all right. Okay, here we go. One night, a young girl was sleeping in her bed when a spider crawled across her face. And? Uh, I'm uh, one night a young girl was sleeping in her bed when a. I told you you couldn't fucking read. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, <clears throat> I just need like some water. Yeah, right. One night a young girl was sleeping in her bed when a spider crawled across her face. Ooh, I hate <laughs> damn spider. <laughs> it stopped for a few minutes on her cheek. Then it went on its way. When she woke up the next morning and looked in the mirror, she noticed a red spot on her cheek. What's this? She asked her mother. 
It looks like a spider bite, her mother replied. It will go away, just don't scratch it. Soon the small red spot grew into a big red spot. Really? I shit you not. Yeah. Look at, look at it now, the girl said. It's getting bigger. That sometimes happens, her mother replied. It's coming to a head. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> In a few days, the red spot was even larger. Look at it now, the girl said. It hurts so much, it, it makes me look ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll have the doctor look at it, her mother said. Maybe it's infected. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> but the doctor... <laughs> Go ahead, tell me what the doctor said. I'm going to piss my pants. The doctor couldn't see the girl until the next day. Yeah. That night, she decided to take a nice relaxing bath. As she laid soaking in the warm water, the boil, suddenly, the, the boil suddenly bursted. Out poured a swarm of tiny spiders. Ow! Formed from the eggs their mother had laid in her cheek that night. Oh, bullshit. Oh, hell no. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Ew. Granny, what would you do if you woke up with a spider on your, like, you know, you woke up with a red spot on your cheek and you popped it and spider came out? I'd pop that sucker. What do you mean? You'd I'd kill that spider. What would you do if millions of them came out? Would you kill them? Oh, boy, shit, I'd get in the chair and I'd drown them fuckers. <laughs> you'd, wa you'd, you'd wash away every single one of them? I'd wash them right down the fucking drain. <laughs> Hell yeah. What would you do if they came out of me, though, and I was like, Granny, Granny, they're coming out of my ass. What do I do? Go in there and turn your ass all up to the shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The Big Toe. We're going to read The Big Toe, Granny. You ready? Yeah, you're gonna try to. I didn't think you was ever gonna get through that red dot. Listen, yeah. I'm not good at reading. Give me a break! You sounded like Patrick Starr. Whoever in the fuck that is. Oh, uh, no. Oh, Patrick. SpongeBob. Bullshit. <laughs> Granny, do I really sound like Patrick? Me, Wumbo. You, Wumbo, it's Wumbology. A little bit, not that fucking much. You think I could get paid for it? Hell no. I go on America's Got Talent for it. Who are you calling Pinhead? <laughs> yeah, right. What was that noise? They kick your ass out Granny, I heard, I heard something out on your balcony. You hear all kinds of shit out there every night, I told you. I think it could be a ghost. Oh, Lord. The Big Toe. One day, a boy was digging in his garden when he saw a big toe sticking out of the ground. He tried to pick it up, but it was stuck. It wouldn't budge, so he pulled hard, and he could... <laughs> he could what? He pulled as hard as he could, and it came off his hand. What? Then he heard something groan, and his... What the f... What does it mean? What the fuck are you trying to read? We're going to skip over that one. Yeah, because you can't read the motherfucker, that's why. This next story is called The Thing. The Thing? The Thing. That's what you are. Granny, do you want to see the cover of it? Yeah. I told you, that's <laughs> what you was. That's your fucking double. Oh, that's me? That's you, dead <laughs> out. There were two young boys named Trevor and Will. They spent most of their summer... Soaking in well, jacking each other off in the hill, blowing each other. <laughs> Wait, I made that up. I'm sorry. I'm, you tried to make something up. Uh, I here, did I do good? Right here looking at you, motherfucker. Did I, do I know good? that what did it. You know what, Grant? We're just going to move on to the next story. Yeah, you can't read a fucking one of them. I don't know why in the <laughs> hell you wasted my time. Well, I read the Because you can't get a damn thing out. You can't. I read the red spot. Shit. I read the red spot. That's the only fucking one you did read because it wasn't but three letters, red spot. It's not my fault that these ain't that good. Here, I'll read Bloody Fingers. Bloody Fingers. Oh, here we go. A man walked in a hotel late one night and asked for a room. The hotel manager told him the hotel room was booked up. We've only got one room left, he said. It's on the 13th floor. 
But we don't rent that one because it's haunted. Oh, okay. We've got only one room left, he said. It's on the 13th floor. But we don't rent that one because it's haunted. Oh, wait. What the? I just read that. You just read that part. <laughs> Son of a... Stupid eyes. Okay. I'll take it, said the businessman. I don't believe in all the nonsense about ghosts. The man took the key and went up to the room to get some sleep. As soon as he turned off the lights and got into bed... <sighs> Keep on going! Uh, Don't stop now! I made a fucking sleep trying to read the fucking story. Huh? Read the motherfucker or I'm gonna sit and lay here and fall asleep. What did, you, what did you even just say? Not a fucking thing. I'm talking out my eyes so I can. <laughs> Fuck you! I'll, motherfucker. I'll take it, said the businessman. Yeah. I don't believe in all that nonsense about ghosts. Uh -huh. The man took the key and went up to the room to get some sleep. As soon yeah. as he turned off the lights and got into bed, he heard the closet uh -huh. door. Go ahead. I'm agreeing with you. Okay, whatever. You was on a rope. But no, you had to fucking stop. The man took the key and went up to the room to get some sleep. As soon as he turned off the lights to get into bed, he heard the closet door squeak open. A pale, ghostly figure emerged from the closet and staggered forth, its fingers dripping blood. Bloody fingers, bloody fingers, it moaned. When the man laid eyes on the horrible sight, he grabbed its suitcase and ran out of the room, still wearing his pajamas, left the hotel room that very night. Yeah. The next night, an old woman arrived at the hotel room that very late night. The manager told her the same thing. We've only got one room left, but it's on the 13th floor, and we don't rent it because it's haunted. Sonny, I've had a lot in my day. She Wait, I've seen a lot in my day, the old bitch said. She told him. Trust yeah, me. <laughs> the old bitch. <laughs> Trust me, nothing could possibly bother me. Right. <laughs> as soon as she switched off the lights to get into bed, the old woman heard the closet door creak open and a yeah. ghostly figure stepped out, its fingers dripping blood all over the floor. Bloody fingers, bloody fingers, it moaned. Oh. <laughs> the old woman shrieked and ran as... What? What is it? What's that word? What's that word? I can't fucking see. Shit on it. Soon as the closet door creaked open, a ghostly figure appeared again. Its fingers dripping blood to its third victim. Bloody fingers, bloody fingers. Er... Fingers dripping blood... Staring at its third victim in the eye, moaning, Bloody fingers, bloody fingers. The boy didn't pay any attention to the ghost figure. He just kept strumming his guitar. The ghost kept moaning, Bloody fingers, bloody fingers. Finally, the boy stopped playing guitar. He looked the ghost straight in its hideous fucking face and said, Shut up! Get yourself a band-aid! That's what you tell the motherfucker! He, he said, told him. He said, get himself a band-aid. Get himself a band-aid for his fucking finger. That story was stupid. It was stupid as hell. I used to read this when I was 12 years old and get scared. What the hell? Are you still 12 years old? Hell yeah. We'll read one fuck, more. Fuck it. We'll read one more and then I'll let you go to bed, Granny, because it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> And I appreciate you staying up all night. Oh, fuck. I appreciate you staying up all night for this. I love you very much. This next story is very scary, I promise. I saved the best horror score. Horror story. Yeah, you can't got where you can't even talk, motherfucker. <laughs> I got the best horror story yet. Here you go. And I'm going to let you read it. You're going to let me read it? Give me my fucking glasses. Why? Oh, you need your glasses? So you yeah, I need my glasses to read the fucking story. All right. What's the name of it? Damn, can't see through them either. The Alabama Hot Pocket. That's the name of it. All right, here we go. The oh, I think I actually think I remember this story. This one used to actually scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. This was my favorite one out of the scary Will stories book. shut up a minute? All right. The Alabama Hot Pocket is a special fetus manure 
that roughly involves taking a shit into a woman's vagina. <laughs> Wait just a fucking minute. What's the shit I'm reading? <laughs> a shit into a woman's vagina? <laughs> Keep reading the crap. Typically followed up by good old fucking. <laughs> The term Alabama originated from a lesser known but critical additional practice that involves porky pigging. Porky pigging? <laughs> Motherfucker. And who would want to screw somebody that just took a. a the... Ready, keep going. Porky pigging. The female who has received the hot pocket in Alabama. You see, good old redneck boys when bored would butt pigs, trunks, <laughs> or <more. laughs> oh, wet piles of mud to proper to properly <laughs> perform the porky pigging. Followed in followed up procedure. One must take a massive shit into the vagina without spreading the lip. <laughs> How in the hell are you gonna shit in their pussy? Ew. Ew! I don't ever want to hear you say that word again. I'm going to bed, Grant. Ew! Well, that's basically <laughs> what he's saying. Ew. Good night, Have Granny. You ever shit no, girl. No, I haven't. No. Ew. Good night, Granny. I love you. Get the fuck out of here, then. <laughs> we are we still going on neighborhood watch tomorrow? I don't know. I'll think about the shit. Come get on. Get my TV back on my t Get my TV back on before you leave. Mother Tomorrow's Friday. Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. <laughs> what? You heard me. What'd you say? Get your eyes in here. What? Fix my fucking TV so I can turn it off. What are you even talking about? Get your eyes in here and you'll find out what I'm talking about. Your TV looks fine. Get it back on my show. It looks fine. Get my TV back on, motherfucker. It is back on. I don't know what your problem is. You're going to wake my dad up if you keep yelling like that. I'll beat your fucking ice. You won't fix my TV, you motherfucker. What's wrong with your TV? Granny! You fucking asshole. Don't come back. Don't you dare come back up here. Do you want to, <laughs> do you want to read another scary story? Hell no, I ain't reading Alabama pussy no more. <laughs>